Bob's Fix-It Shop. So I just recently worked on this Magnavox Astrosonic Stereo. And uh, when I was doing the video, I wanted to add Bluetooth uh, because the phonograph doesn't work on the stereo. And Bluetooth is a, a really nice choice, right? And, but the problem was is that when I hooked up the power supply, it made so much noise on the AM radio that uh, really made the stereo pretty much unusable in AM. And so that what uh, this video is, is showing how I made a power supply, hooked it to the light bulb circuit, and then used that to power the Bluetooth, and uh, really came up with a pretty good solution. Uh, a word of warning, this, uh, the video clips from this were originally going to go into the other video, so it looks like it starts in the middle of nowhere. So let's get right into it. So I'm looking at the phonograph here, and um, if you turn on here, you see this wheel here. You hear that noise? The rubber is hard as a rock and it's cracked. And um, also we're not getting anything in from the phono. So I'm not even going to take a look at it because I think to get a wheel like this is you know, about $28. I saw one for sale. But um, I don't really think it's worth fixing. And uh, so instead what I'm going to do is I've got this... Uh, it's kind of torn up because I was opening it. But I've just got a Bluetooth adapter and I'm going to put that into the aux port. And I think that's going to be um, really the way this will probably be used. Okay, so the nice thing is is that the, the outlet on the back is switched. So we can just hook this up. Comes with the power supply and we can just hook up the, um, hook this up to that, we can just hook this up, comes with the power supply to that switched output. So here I have um, the power supply. And so I've hit kind of a snag, is that AM is so screwed up by the Bluetooth that um, I'm gonna have to rethink it. Even plugging in the power supply. Olympians, we have play on the pro tour. We have NCAA golfers, we have those who you know, play in these miniature golf tournaments in the World Series of Putting. And you hear that sound? And yeah, and that's not even... That's not even plugged in, so I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to see if I can make a little power supply off the uh, light bulb circuit, because uh, it's got two little tabs here. It's alternating current, but maybe I can uh, just make a little power supply that'll run off that and power... Um, the Bluetooth unit. Okay, so here's the circuit for the power supply I'm going to use. Um, I've got about 6.2 uh, volts RMS coming out of the stereo. And uh, I'm going to bring that into a diode. And that into a voltage regulator, a 7805. And then that's going to be our plus 5 volts and then we'll bring a smoothing cap in here and a couple of caps around the voltage regulator and these are going to be small and this is going to be big uh, because coming out of here um, this is around uh, nine, a little over 9 volts peak to peak and so we're going to get a signal, a voltage that kind of comes like this through that diode. And we want it to look like... And um, if you look at, you know, our 5 volts output, we're going to want to keep a nice couple of volts above that for the regulator to work correctly. And so we want to smooth that out. So we're going to use kind of a big capacitor there. And uh, so this should be our circuit. All right, there it is. Um, we have our power coming in, going through the diode. We've got our filter cap, and then our other little capacitors there. We've got our voltage regulator, and we're coming out into the power for the Bluetooth module. So here's the light circuit for this um, for this particular stereo. 
and you can see that it's got its own winding, so it's AC, uh, there's no rectifier in here. And, um, and here's the connector that's on the back of the chassis. And this connector actually goes to a bulb that's on the front of the device. And uh, here's your other bulbs. And here you can see that the one winding of the transformer goes to um, the chassis ground. And then if we look over here at the aux tape input, which is um, where we're going to connect in the Bluetooth, that also has a uh, ground to chassis. So we just have to make sure that um, this ground or this side of the connector is the one that we connect to uh, for our ground, right? Because like on this particular stereo, it's not really marked one or the other because it's expecting to go into a light bulb and it doesn't really make that much difference because there's two wires going to it. Uh, but for us, that's going to make a big difference. We have to make sure that we get the, um, the ground side of that circuit hooked up to here. So here's the connector here. And, um, and I've got it hooked up. And I marked one of these leads as black. That's my, my ground. And that's going to chassis. And I just measured this, um, measured the, the voltage between here and here, and it's zero. And, um, and then marked it as ground. And so that you have to put your uh, uh, your negative to there, and then your AC to here, and um, and then you're good. Because if you have them reversed, it just kind of shorts out as soon as you plug in the sound. So here's our signal coming in. We have 6.2 volts uh, RMS, and um, then on the other side of the diode. You have just a little bit of ripple, but it's um, about 8 volts, and that's plenty for our voltage regulator. And here's what's coming out of the voltage regulator, a nice clean 5 volts. So that's going to work perfect. I just come into my Bluetooth unit here, and um, Baseball starting. we have something to talk we about. Have no, so uh, hum. I mean, we have no interference from this at all compared to the other one, which was just terrible. A Republican or a Democratic Oops. thing. This is this is a human thing, and it's across so the board. If I board. unplug it, guilty of it. There's no the no change in the noise whatsoever. Sometimes during and so, uh, yeah. So this worked better than I thought. So, so there you hear the Bluetooth coming on, and here I just mounted it. Down in the chassis on a piece of it on a I just mounted it in the record compartment and on a piece of velcro and then you can like if you wanted to you could plug it right into your phone and let's give it a try Yeah, so it works pretty great. So that's a video. I just wanted to quickly show how I uh, solved the problem getting that Bluetooth on there. And so if you enjoyed it, uh, please hit like and subscribe. And thanks for watching.